Let's try this problem here. x squared plus 7x plus 6. The first thing we must do is get out the amount. x squared plus 7x. 7 x's. Now notice, the only prerequisite once we have gotten past the language barrier is the ability to count. In the last problem, the prerequisite was the ability to count to three. Here, the prerequisite is the ability to count to seven. We've got an x square, we've got seven x's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven x's, and six units. One, two, three, four, five, six units. What is factoring again? What is the definition of factoring? Factoring is building a rectangle. We must take this amount and build a rectangle. How can we always get a rectangle out of this amount? We can always build a rectangle by doing what? By placing how many on the side? By placing one on the side and putting the rest on the top. So that we have a space in the corner for our units. Sure enough. we were able to factor the amount. Our distance over is x plus 1, x plus 1. Our distance up is what? x plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. x plus 6. Okay, that seems to be very easy. Let's try another amount. Let's see if we have really got it down. Let's factor x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let's get out the amount. x squared plus 5x plus six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here again, what is factoring? Factoring is building a rectangle. How can we factor it and always get the right amount? Well, we have learned to always put one x on the side and the rest on the top. And place the units in the corner. But we have a problem here. There are two units that don't fit into the corner. I guess it doesn't always work with one on the side, does it? Well, if it doesn't work with one on the side, how many would you suggest that we try on the side? If it doesn't work with one, try two. So we will try two on the side. It works with two on the side. Now, if it hadn't worked with two on the side, how many do you suggest we try? Three. If it doesn't work with one, try two. If it doesn't work with two, try three. Notice what we are learning. We are learning the process of elimination. If it doesn't work with the first possibility, try the next possibilities until we have exhausted all of our possibilities. Let's read our factors. Our distance over is x plus 2, x 
x plus 2 is our distance over x plus 1, 2, 3 is our distance up. x plus 3 is our distance up.